Hello everyone! So today we're gonna have ourselves a coral feeding frenzy. Which brings us to an interesting question. Do you have to feed your corals? Uh, most of the time, no. 90% of corals are photosynthetic and they don't need to be fed. Feeding them just makes them grow faster. Which might lead a lot of people to ask why I feed corals like mushroom corals that are already growing pretty fast, reefroids because they're not growing fast enough. You know, for me, one of the joys of having a reef tank is just watching things grow. And I like to see things grow fast. A lot of people look at my tank and they say, you know, it already kind of looks a little maybe overstocked with coral. And you know what I say to that? I can still see rocks. And it's not fully stocked until every surface of that rock is covered with something. So I feed all the happy little guys in this tank Reefroids. And you would not believe how difficult it is to find reefroids in China. It was surprisingly hard. I ended up having just to order them from abroad. But I got them. Well, to get started with, let's get all this junk out of the way. So, first you take a little cup of water from your tank. Then you get your reefroids over here. And you mix in a little cup from your container of reefroids. Oh, oh. They fill these things so full. You put your reefroids right in. Close your container back up so you don't spill, you know, any more than you already have. And then you just mix that bad boy up. Okay. Mix that thing right up. And then the next thing you're going to do is bring it over to your tank. All right. I got that mess over there cleaned up. And we are now ready to feed some corals. And we're going to start with Big Hoss right here. So just going to take our reefroids. I got them in a little uh, syringe. And we're just going to put them right into the coral. And it's pretty fun to watch. This guy's going to close up right around the food. Okay, next we're going to feed these guys right here. And these are actually my favorite corals in the tank. Uh, I got them first. I just think they're so pretty. So we're going to give these guys a little bit of num-nums. Here we go. And these close pretty quick once they get some food in there. So we might actually get to see that on camera. All right, so here they go. Closing up. Because uh, they close up to trap as much of that food in there as possible. Kind of like a Venus flytrap. You can see Big Hoss over here kind of closing in on the kill now. He realized there's something in there and he's eating it up. It's a happy looking guy right there. And I of course saved the best for last. Uh, this coral over here is my favorite to feed because of how fast it closes up. And you can see it's already partially closed. He's already picked up some of the waste from the other corals. But let's go right in, shall we? Is that not fascinating? How quickly those close up when they get a little bit of food in there. Happy little guy. Some of you might be curious to know what's going on with this torch coral here. Why half of it is happy and the other half is tucked away like an abused puppy. Uh, I'm going to talk about that in the next episode, but spoiler alert, it's Bing Bing's fault. Well, thanks everybody for tuning in. I'll see you next time.